Mike check one two one two. Welcome back to Black Sons World. He is I. I am him. And today, y'all, I'm gonna run through my best five hip hop albums of 2023 in no particular order. I'm not gonna do that to y'all. I'm not gonna do that to myself. But anyway, man, the first album on my list is Michael from Killer Mike. Um, coming off for of those four Run the Jewels albums, I had high expectations for this album, and Michael exceeded all of them. Um, this album was also nominated for a Grammy. Uh, I don't know if he'll win that. He up against some stiff competition. But anyway, man, Michael from Killer Mike is my first album, man. Salute to Killer Mike. Oh, all right, the next album on my list is Magic 3 from Nas and Hit Boy. This is the sixth project that they've done together, the sixth and final project they did together. It was a great and it was an amazing way to end their run. Um, they're also nominated for a Grammy this year for uh, King's Disease 3, but, you know, that's another topic. Uh, but yeah, salute to Nas and Hip Boy, man. Magic Three. Burgundy on the breath, uncertainty when I step, dancing to every song like it's a contest, singing to Stevie Wonder, Happy Birthday. Celebrate. The next album on my list is Sunday Dinner from Nick Grant. Nick Grant is criminally slept on. Uh, believe it or not, this is his fourth album, and he's never put out a bad project. This is his fourth and best project. Um, so many bangers on there. All man. I can say is y'all need to stop sleeping on Nick Grant, man, for real. Pistol waving this up, black murder is played as fuck. Look at our skin, shit even band-aids ain't made for us. You got the way to next album on my list is Course of the Inevitable from Lloyd Banks. Hey, say what y'all want about Lloyd Banks, but the dude is consistent and he has been a hard worker. I mean, four albums in three years, man. And this course of course of the inevitable three, I believe, is the best one out of the three. And uh, I mean, the Punchline King's been on a crazy run, man. Y'all need to get that man his flowers, man. Course of the Inevitable Three from Lloyd Banks. Coincidence, I work for my spot to be legendary. God is real. If I ain't had work to do, I'll be dead already. When you win in trouble, pulls in. Gotta respect. All right, man. The next album on my list, the next and final album on my list is To See a Sunset by Coda the Friend. Coda the Friend is another very, very slept on artist and very, very consistent, man. It's like every year we get a new lyrics to go album or project, uh, including his work with Static Selector, like To See a Sunset is a Static, Static Selector produced album. And it's the best one, man. I can't even lie to you, man. If I was in charge of the Grammy board or I had a vote, I would put a vote in for Coda the Friend to see a sunset because it's that damn good, man. Y'all can stop sleeping on Coda the Friend right now. Salute. Said it, then it must be true. I just laugh on the first class. Trust me, cool. I got the key, bro. And the rental with the C All right, man. That concludes my best five hip hop albums of 2023. Uh, let me know in the comments, man. If I missed any albums, what's your five best hip hop albums this year? Uh, are they different from mine? They probably are, man. I'll be in the underground with mine. But anyway, uh, like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe to the channel. Yo, and once again, it's Black Sons Word. One. Two.